Hey everybody, Klaus here. Welcome to back to my continuation of Double Standards. Okay, now since we took on the 10 of these Double Standards, and I went into a little more de detail why Double Standards are indeed poisonous to society, we are going to be um, delving into the um, other Double Standards in this in this continuation, well, part 2 anyways. So let's get into it. In the movies, he can make someone die in a heroic way and really even flinch. Heck, he can blow up an entire populated planet for all we care. But don't you ever kill a dog, goddammit. Okay. Now, something I don't quite get is that... Go oh, kill off all the humans you want. Like, destroy every planet in the galaxy. But don't hurt the dog. Why? Is dogs are pets of some kind like of course dogs are pets why is it because the fact that the dogs are pets an entire populated planet jeez do you think that maybe there are other creatures on the populated planet that maybe because they're pets i don't know that that, that was just eh. you should accept my body the way it is but fuck those skinny but okay this one is just stupid on so many shitty fucking levels, okay? Get this has skinny shaming went all the fuck over it. I mean, come on. It's like, hey, you can accept my pop body the way it is, but, but you, you, you're going after those skinny like, skinny people. I, I, okay, that one pissed me off so much. That my 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 words are scrambled like eggs. Like, ugh, for crying out loud. Okay, the, the only ones I can see, like, bitching about this are overweight feminazis who are lazy, sitting on their ass, just typing away the fucking keyboard fucking warrior. Okay, yeah, except the body the way it is. Okay, I'm not slamming those overweight. No, you, you should stick to being healthy. That's... Don't skinny shame. I mean, come on. Okay, I understand that this might be an unrealistic body image for you lazy feminazis out there who just want to bitch and whine about everything. Which, this, this is stupid. Oh, but armpit hair. Oh, this, we're getting into ridiculousness. On men, it's a sexy stud, but on a female, they're rabbit feminists. Well, to be fair, that is a pretty safe stereotype of feminazi. That oh my god, our oh, crazy armpit hair. So how is it considered sexy on a guy? But we're just gonna assume he's a rabbit feminazi. Am I the only one who doesn't get this? Am I the only one who sees this as stupid? <laughs> Girls can go to school with long hair. Boys are kicked out for the same thing. Okay, what, okay, why the fuck does hair even matter? Seriously, why the fuck does hair fucking matter on one fucking type of person, but not the other? Ugh. And kick it. Boy out just for having long hair. Do you think that's the most ridiculous fucking reason to kick someone out of fucking skull because your fucking teacher doesn't like the fucking hair? I'll fucking get her. Fuck you. Ugh. Long hair is not any valid reason to kick someone out of school. What the fucking ever? Okay. Get. What about the? Okay. What about those girls who have short hair? Huh? What? You you gonna do something? Nope 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 nope. Uh you you no uh uh you nope nope nope. Uh uh looks like no one's gonna, no one wants to do anything about that. Okay. So why the fuck should it even matter that a boy has long hair at school? I mean come on, like my hair is kind of long-ish. It's can I can yeah. Oh my god, it's it's fucking stupid hair. Of all things. Smokers 
are often rewarded with extra smoke breaks, while not smokers are expected to keep working. Okay, I'm just gonna s state this right here. Okay? Smoking is bad for you. Smoking is pretty much tangible cancer. We, we, we all know this, okay? So then, why should smokers get an extra bit, extra break, excuse me? Why, why should they get an, a, a few extra breaks just because they had a light as fucking cigarette? I mean, uh, uh, I, I know I had a break like five minutes ago, but uh, can I just take another break? Because I gotta smoke another cigarette. Thank you. Uh, okay, it's like 10 minutes here. Uh, I know I just had a break, but can I just take another cigarette break? I just gotta smoke one. And it just keeps going on and on and on. You realize this can be just be used to be lazy and not even get any work done. It, it, it can be manipulated to just force work on other people. And it, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. Just fucking ridiculous. You shouldn't even be smoking in the first place. That's, that's how I feel with the whole tobacco situation. That's a cigarette thing. You shouldn't be smoking like, at all. It's... It's bad for you. It's... Yeah. <clears throat> Prisoners are not allowed to vote, but when it benefits the state, they are not treated as civilly dead. They are liable for taxation on any earnings and savings that they have. Ugh. Don't even get me started on this mess. Okay, without, no taxation without re representation. That's all you fem Nazis care about, isn't it? Represent representation. But in the case, I shouldn't say that's all they care about, but still. Okay, even if you are a prisoner, don't think that you. Okay, I okay, understand that it's. Once you've been incarcerated, you've been through the whole prison thing. I'm a bobber. Uh, it's it's gonna be tougher for you to build up an income. But still, everybody has to pay their taxes. Literally everyone, and it's it's just stupid to think that oh, been through prison you should be exempt from taxes. No, 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 no. Okay, I won't go too big into taxes as a topic for another video, which I may do down the road. But that's there's a good reason why. Prisoners shouldn't be able to vote. Like, say they were responsible for the crime of child molestation. That would label them a felon. Okay. Why should felons be allowed to vote? I mean, come on, they're, they're horrible fucking people. Because they're not going to have the best judgment in the world. Disappointing box office for a superhero movie, The Mill Leaf. Reboot. Superhero, okay, superheroines aren't profitable. Okay, I, that's, that's just, that's total nonsense. That, that is total nonsense. What are you trying to say, just because a m movie has a, a female lead is the crappiest thing ever? No. Pure, unrefined, category 5 bullshit. Supergirl. Was, I, I believe it was a movie, like way back when, but also had a... Oh my god, wait, 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 that's a reboot! I don't care if it's like a movie or, te or television show, that is a reboot. And besides, you're missing out on plenty of good movies with um, a, f a female lead in it. I mean, look at Clueless. Look at Across the Universe. Look at... Kill Bill, even though in my opinion that movie sucks. Look at Legally Blonde. I mean, look at all those movies. Same things I hate about you. You have... Silence of the Lambs! In the park, and... Oh, wait! Here's one! The Avengers! <laughs> what a fucking moron you are, Joss Whedon. Rape is never funny. Don't drop the soap. Okay, this is touching into the um problem with rape. And okay, I don't know a single person who finds rape acceptable. I 
am against rape. But comparing rape jokes to prison rape? Okay, how the fuck can you compare a simple joke to an actual problem? I mean, yeah, in my opinion, rape jokes aren't funny. But that's all they are, jokes! They're not making light of anything. They're just showing you the absurdity of shit. And, yeah, I, I can see how, like, rape jokes can be a bit of a sensitive feel, but I just, no. That's all they are, jokes, and should be treated as such. Oh, my God. It's just, anyone who just gets offended, so, so, so fucking butthurt, fucking offended by fucking someone telling a fucking rape joke. Just fuck yourself. You have, you, you have to be so fucking butthurt that you have to go and sit. Yeah, there are people out there who will just go far and out of the way to censor a joke. Because they don't find it funny. They don't like it. So, they had to, people had to have to go try to keep these jokes from being told. Okay, rape jokes are kind of dark, but still, that's kind of the whole thing that comedy goes down. It's like pushing boundaries. <clears throat> you look pretty if you smile. Was said to no guy. Oh, bullshit! Pure bullshit. Okay. This being said, no guy ever. <laughs> yeah, right. I've seen that like, said to quite a few guys. Like, like my girlfriend said that to me a few times. So that's I'm evidence against that. <laughs> Who'd have thought? But seriously, though, you really think that this picture is selling this point? I mean, we have another creepy, just, ugh. that's not even a smile. Okay, and the, okay, and this one here is that, are you a prude or a slut? Oh my god, this is going to be here a while. Okay, so, are you a woman? No, you're a person. What the fuck? Are you fucking telling me the fucking person who fucking made this trying to fucking say that men are people and women aren't? I know I'm being a broken record at this point, but this needs to be said. How is it acceptable for something to be considered on one side and not the other? Uh, let's just continue with this, okay? Yes, okay, sex, no, you're prude. Okay, either. Okay. Uh, sex, salvage, bad. What? Haul the phone here. Wait, just wait one moment. What is so wrong with being a virgin? Tell me, why is that okay? from this? It's just. Ugh. It seems like being a virgin is treated like a sin, according to this. Like, I'm. It's kind of weird for me to say this, say that because I'm an atheist, but still. Like, it's so wrong to keep your virginity. It's, it's just, it's stupid. Okay? It's just borderline stupid. What, what is the rush? I don't understand. Okay. 
Okay, say no, you're prude. Okay, whatever. Say yes, consider it a slut. See, we have a six, seven. Okay, so you're being shamed either way. Fan fucking tastic. Okay, no, you're a slut. Yes, you're a prude. Ugh, this is the most ridiculous one ever. So, from this, you're being shamed either way. Ugh, I think you get the point I'm trying to get across here. So yeah, there's a double standards. Getting fucking content that still gets a. Ugh. I seriously hope you get just why these double standards are fucking poisonous to society. Uh, if not, then I don't know what to tell you. Your brain is pretty much, pretty much fried up worse than a bag of fries tossed in a deep fryer. And I can, again, I can, I'll keep harping on this like a broken record. These, all these double standard, standards are just poisonous to, uh, poisonous to society and just... It, it, it really needs to come to, come to stop. Just the... My question to you guys. Why can't we just apply one standard to just both sides? Just treat everyone truly equal. Okay? That's 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 all I'm saying. So that pretty much wraps up my um double standards. I there there is nothing to say that I haven't said before. There is nothing more to say that other people haven't said before. Like, I guess that's it. Class out. Peace. And, again, just apply one standard to both sides, and just, otherwise, you end up a complete fucking asshole.